on the streets. This is a couple of people ran into uh, one guy from Manchester. And I guess it is true, a lot of the people that can afford to come over here, they affluent and they're not in tune with Tommy Robinson. This one guy happens to be. But then I ran into a real gem. A woman working for uh, England's, the UK's version of our Department of Homeland Security. I, she said she's over here working and being that Tommy Robinson is trying to get in to speak to our Congress and they denied the visa to him, I would suspect that that's what she was over here working on. And uh, unfortunately, she didn't stick around long enough to uh, for me to get into that. I was trying to finesse her, but you know how they are. They, Anytime you show any uh, anything that might be disagreeable to them, all of a sudden, you know, you're you're the aggressive one. So she scooted. But at any rate, you get to see her attitude. So here we go, and you know the routine. If you like it, you like it. If you care, you share. Uh, and of, you know, of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and subscribe again if you have uh, have. And then uh, Christmas is coming, so have a badass Christmas and do some badass Christmas shopping at my store. Thank you very much, and uh, God bless you, and let's get on the streets. You know Tommy? Yeah. What do you, how do you think of him? Yeah. You like him? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. says some stuff for the people yes. who don't necessarily like or agree with, but the guy's got a number of good points. Like yes. Things that happen. So. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. I think he. I. I think you should be very proud of that man. Yeah. We need people around that can challenge. You know, just the. Sort of when I understand they, that that um, the charges against him were dropped, the ones that. That's right. Is that correct? That's correct. That's good news. That's good to hear. Because you know, I've I made a lot of fun of you for him. I'm out here on the street too, but I haven't. I'm not as brave as he does. He goes right into the neighborhoods, and you know, and he goes into the lion's den. Yeah, he does. You know? he does. Indeed. So that's very good. And where do you live in England? Where do you live? Uh, near Manchester, in the north of England. Right. Yes. North. Yes. North. Indeed. London. You're from London? <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm from London. And when was the last time you were there? Uh, so I, I lived there. I was just here for work and I'm spending the weekend here. So. Oh, what do you yeah. do for work? Um, so I work for uh, basically the UK equivalent of Homeland Security. The? Home, your Homeland, your DHS. Department. Really? Really, yeah. <laughs> so you are familiar with Tommy Robinson? I am very familiar with Tommy Robinson, yeah. <laughs> and what is the English version of the Department of Homeland Security's? Home Office. A big pardon? Home Office. Home Office? <laughs> Home office. Home office. Yeah, what, yeah. Is, what does the home office think of Tommy Robinson? Oh, well, we have to be impartial, right? We're not political, so... Well, we know who well he I'm is. just asking, I'm just asking about your personal, though, yeah, right? Personal views. Oh. Yeah, what would you do? You're, nah. you're not in favor of him? I'm not in favor of him, no. And why would that be? Why would that be? Uh, because he's a bit too right-wing for me. <laughs> right-wing? <laughs> yeah. He's a, what we call extreme right-wing, so... I've noticed him to do basically just one thing. Uh, he's sticking up for Britain. Yeah, but there's other people that stick up for Britain. Yeah, but he's doing it in a fashion that seems to me that the authorities don't like. And of well, course, of course. Yeah, well, of course. Well, I mean, uh, but he seems very popular among the people. And it, aren't the, aren't, aren't the, isn't the government is supposed to be in, in tune with what the people want? Wow, you think so, right? <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. 
Well, isn't it then working against the odds if the government is working against the will of the people to know the truth about well, what's happening in their truth. neighborhoods and their city and their yeah. country? Yeah. Well, I mean, all the man does is get out there and talk about what happened in his neighborhood well, and I his think, city and his I, country. I, I and for that, he's persecuted. He's thrown into jail for 13 months without any uh, uh, a chance to even defend himself. The man was tortured in his cell for crying out loud. He had to eat tuna okay, fish for, for a month and a half. Well, you're the one lady that's talking about, you know, uh, gee, he's a bad guy, but you, the persecution of the government. He's allowed to have their opinion. You really don't need to get aggressive. Well, you're the one being aggressive to him. It's your Department of Homeland Security that's the one that's persecuting him, and you're, you're talking about me being aggressive? You're a piece of work. You are. What? Stop what? Well, because you're over there. You walked away from me. I'd like to talk to you here. Well, can I get your opinion if I promise not to shout? Hey, brother, how you been, man? Good to see you.